Throwback Thursday, well, a remix version. Okay. Usually Cambridge author Jim Duffy stops by to talk tales of the past on Delmarva. Well, he's still doing that today, but focusing on the throwback stories in his new book, you wouldn't believe 44 strange and wondrous Delmarva tales. <laughs> hey, Jim, Jim Duffy is here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mike. How are Lisa, you? Lisa, how are you? I'm great. I have gifts. Oh, oh enough gifts. It's not even Christmas yet. <laughs> One for you. Thank you. One for you. Thank still you. Warm. Oh, they are really warm. They're hot oh. off the presses. I love the smell of yes, them. Yes, it's oh, hot, hot. So, <laughs> happy book release week. Yeah. Thank you very much. How does that feel? If there's bags under my eyes, <laughs> that's why. I yeah. apologize. Yeah. So, this is number four for you. This is my fourth book. What's different? The first three books were more sort of travel companions. Mm -hmm. So you would, they were designed to kind of go in the glove box. You gotcha. know, you go down this small town and you go down this back road or you try and follow in the footsteps of an underground railroad hero. This one is more of a sit in front of the fire and read it. Mm -hmm. So both, both books have kind of stories of days gone by, but this one is more just sit back and do time traveling instead of actual road traveling. And it's a lot of regular people, not, not, not sort of, you know, when I'm doing the road trips, it's about this famous person from that town and this little museum over here. But this is just, just regular folks going through life. And what they went through strikes me like the subtitle says as a strange and wondrous kind of thing. So some of these stories are familiar to our audience, right? They are. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Jake the Alligator? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jake the Alligator in Berlin. A guy mailed an, a baby alligator to a pharmacist in Berlin. Mm -hmm. I remember that story. And yep. the pharmacist ended up raising the alligator, putting him in a storefront mm -hmm. where Jake lived much of his life to the delight of shoppers in Berlin. Uh, Mike, I think you were here the day that I talked about the 1700s pirate Don oh, Vincent Lopez. Uh, I believe uh, that's your cue. Uh, yes, uh, exactly. We did a lot of talking like a pirate on that yeah, day. Um, Learned some the Spanish fun, too. The fun thing about that one was he 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 once took over a ship and he, and he put it's like August mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. He he stripped everybody that was on the ship naked and put them on the shore, and they had to walk for like miles and miles. <laughs> To find anything. Yeah. Um, one time, Lisa, you asked me to look into UFOs because UFOs were in the yeah. news. Yeah. And we found this uh, Delaware guy, I'm getting my prop ready. Oh, we have a prop. <laughs> this Delaware guy who described the UFO he saw as a flying mayonnaise jar. <laughs> <laughs> and he was convinced that flying mayonnaise jars were causing plane crashes. Uh, like all over the country. And he couldn't understand why no one would listen to him. Oh, man. So, I have to ask. All right. How do you find all these stories? By accident a lot of times. Really? So I'm doing some research, you know, on some important topic, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm in like an old newspaper, for example. And there's, there's one I write about in the introduction here where I'm researching this topic and then my eye kind of wanders over here. And I see a headline about the Shores Champion Jailbreaker. <laughs> and that was a guy from Federalsburg named uh, Gilbert Lair in the 1930s. And he escaped from virtually every jail on the Delmarva Peninsula except for Denton. Denton was rock solid. He could not get out of the Denton jail. But he's kind of like this anti-hero in his early 20s, and he's like taunting the police officers, <laughs> sending them postcards and <laughs> Christmas cards and doing all. Any, anyway, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I ended up really spending an entire, a long, long time <laughs> trying to figure out so the story of Gilbert Lair. But it's really, but it's really fun. I'm a nerd, and that's gotcha. the way it goes. That's where, that's where uh, I find my. So we, we have these copies, and I'm sure folks want to get their copy. So how? So they're in stores all over the peninsula. Mm -hmm. They are available online on Amazon, and all of the information about how to do that is on our website, uh, secretsoftheeasternshore.com. You will find a list of the stores that are carrying it in there, and you can also buy it on the website if you prefer, whatever, whatever you like. And yeah. Very cool. And Thanks. we'll make it easy for you by putting a link on our website. Just go to What's Happening. You wouldn't believe it. 
44 Strange and Wondrous Delmarva Tales, the author, Jim Duffy. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. We'll see you next week.